Milwaukee Election Commission staff member has been let go after requesting military ballots in other people's names and sending them to the home of a state lawmaker. Our Spencer Tracy joins us now live from City Hall with more on the fallout from the firing and what criminal charges this staffer may be facing. Kimberly Zapata has worked for Milwaukee's Election Commission for almost a decade. She admitted to sending or trying to get military ballots in other people's names. Now, while the mayor said she did this outside of work, he says this is unacceptable. This has every appearance of being an egregious, blatant violation of trust. Just five days before the midterm election. The city of Milwaukee has removed the deputy director of our elections commission. Mayor Cavalier Johnson announced Kimberly Zapata was fired for admitting to illegally requesting military ballots in other people's names. She sent them to state representative Janelle Branchett. It does not matter to me that this might have been an effort to expose a vulnerability uh, that state law created. As a member of the military, you don't have to register or show an ID to vote. The city believes she was trying to prove a loophole in the elections process. And so it is my belief that she was pointing out that you can go on to the public system make up a person and request a ballot. Just days ago, Branch had posted on social media that she received these ballots at her home address. On Thursday, she sent a statement saying, in quote, unlike Mayor Johnson, I've been actually working on providing Wisconsinites a safe and secure election process. We have uncovered so many issues that demand attention. The last time we spoke to Zapata was the August primary. Things have been going really well. We have about 80 poll workers. My Are you Kimberly Zapata? This time, Zapata refused to speak to us and drove off. The case is now in the hands of the Milwaukee County District Attorney's Office. They say charges will be coming in the next couple of days. I actually also did reach out to Zapata's attorney, Michael Maselman, and he says they will refer to litigation in the courtroom, not the media. For now, reporting live from City Hall tonight, I'm Spencer Tracy, Fox 6 News. All right, Spencer.